All right, guys. Huh, finally did it. Took a while. We've been here for hours. Targets just aren't uh, as uh, they're not flourishing like they were the, the bunch of times that we've been to this spot. But I did finally just pick up a silver tone. It was very uh, faint. Just getting a tweak. And uh, here we. Go. What's up? Indian. Really? Yeah. You found that in that section I was trying to get you to stay in. Spent the whole morning trying to catch up to you. Now you're back over there. You just dug a buffalo nickel. Are you kidding me? There's coins everywhere over there. That's why I didn't want to leave. All right, first time I turned the camera on. Oh, you can't even see me. Uh, where's the sun? There it is. All right, welcome to Mason Merrick Metal Detecting. And today uh, we're, we're at the beach that keeps on giving. Last couple times it really wasn't given much. But uh, we had another nor'easter storm. We're here with our friends uh, Doug and Chris from New England PDA on YouTube. And uh, hopefully, uh, we've been here a while. I got a pocket full of change, pocket full of beaver tails, some nails, nothing spectacular. I mean, you saw Mason, he just dug an Indian. So we're gonna go back to the spot where all the coins are, but there's two spots on two separate sides of the beach where this place continues to give us goods. So we'll see what we do today. All right, guys, uh, finally got an old coin myself. Mason got an Indian. Is my hole is my coin and it is gonna be a dateless buffalo they never have dates there's old uh, iron tail right there i don't know if you guys can see that or not no date but there's the buffalo all right we'll take a buffalo nickel and chris from new england pda right there he got himself a buffalo as well and we'll have to catch up with doug to see what he got that looks like that yep Yeah. Paper that might be a, might be a pen. Mason, let's see your thing. Oh, you put it. Oh, yeah. Check this thing out. The Mason just dug. Metal. I ripped the sheet metal off. But... That is pretty cool. Lots of fancy on it. Little emblem. It's really lightweight. This thing says Ford. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah, definitely uh, the find of the day so far. Although you got an Indian. I do love digging Indians. Nice, good job, let's see what else we got. All right guys, huh, finally did it. Took a while, we've been here for hours. Targets just aren't, uh, as, uh, they're not flourishing like they were the, the bunch of times that we've been to this spot, but I did finally just pick up a silver tone. It was very uh, faint, just getting a tweak. And uh, here we go, first silver of the day. I don't know if uh, Chris or Doug, I think it's a smoked out Roosevelt. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see the pillars or torches or whatever they are. It's a silver Roosevelt dime. All right, we'll take it. All right, guys. I got spooned on the beach. <laughs> Literally find a spoon every time I go metal detecting. Yep. This one's got a nice fancy design. Oh, you got a spoon? Nice. A fork. Cool. No design at all on that one. That's pretty plain. Getting my fancy one back. All right. All right. We finally caught up to the legend himself, Doug. We're gonna yes. do a we're gonna do a finds check in. All right. I heard I heard you might have got some silver. Yes, I did, sir. Nice. Silver Beach retains the name. Yes. Uh, you got so. Oh, I got spooned. I got spooned. I got double spooned. Oh, really? Yeah. You ever been double spooned on the beach? No. No? Not yet. No. <laughs> just long walks, that's all I got. Yeah, out just of long it. walks, yeah. <laughs> just in a single spoon. Yep. All right. Inside this junk. Oh, wow, you got lots of stuff. Actually, I brought that from home. Uh, bullet casing, bullet casing. Oh, here we go. Mm. That there is a beefalo. It's a buffalo. Buffalo nickel, and nice. And then, another bullet. Uh, so under all this dirt and filth. One of them is a, uh, one of the, some of these dirty ones is a Mason Mark. Those ones aren't, those are green. You must you got they, a must Mason be, Mark out of one of them. Must be in your pouch. Hello. Oh, hey, I'm one of your subscribers. Oh, really? No kidding. All right, we got Mason walking down the beach. I heard silver. 
That's silver. Some silver. 35. 35%. Yeah. Wonderful. What year? A peak? Oh, I can't. It's so cruddy. Well, your silver streak continues. Good job. Nice. All right, Mason just got something cool. Something I've always wanted to dig. Yeah, I told him he'd go cry in the corner once I show him this. Um, little toy soldier. Uh, the feet and head. Yeah, gone. most of them's gone, but that's still a cool find. Maybe we yeah. can make a head for him. <laughs> cool. Really? Oh. Yeah, that. Barber. In good condition too. Nice. Nice. Barber dime. What year did you get a year off it? Let's see. What did you say your name was again? Troy. Troy. All right. 1898. Troy is on the board for the 1898 Barber dime. Sweet. Mason left one for me. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Walking over to Doug. He got something good. I think he said he got another Merc. Uh, we, we ran into a couple people that. Uh, watch the uh, channel on YouTube and uh, in our in our Facebook group keeps on giving. yeah Booyah. double Booyah. Booyah. the double mark you're pretty much in the same area where you found the last one right pretty much nice oh that thing's got a lot of wear it might be an early one nice yeah. it looks very thin but yeah very happy two marks uh, Buffalo nickel and a wheat penny and a zippo nice We'll take it. We got another detector that's over here. Maybe he's on some good stuff too. All right, Chris is on the board with a silver. Finally, I think everybody got silver now. Mason got a war nickel. I got a silver Roosevelt. Doug got the uh, two Mercs. And Chris is over here filming for New England PDA on YouTube. And he's on the board with a silver. Finally, 58 Roosevelt. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. That guy over there, Troy, his name is. I don't know if you guys can see him. Yeah, he just dug a silver barber dime. Nice. Everybody's on the board. It's got a walker. Oh, Bro. nice. Wow, that's black. <laughs> and Badger's on the board with silver. So everybody here today has dug silver. Wow, that thing's in rough shape. I haven't dug silver. You got a war nickel. Oh, yeah, I did. Nice. Congratulations, yeah, sir. Just in time before I left. Yeah? Oh, you guys yeah, are leaving already? Got, yeah, I was just coming to get them. Oh. We've been out since this morning. So. Nice. Yeah, you guys, thanks for showing us your finds. Some good stuff. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Nice meeting you guys, too. All right, guys, it finally happened. I got a Merc. And Mason Merc's looking at the Merc. You got a year on it? 35. 35 Merc. Nice. Eagle eyes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll All take right. it on the board with some jewelry. And I found myself an old copper earring. Nothing special, but it's something. You got a ring? All right. Doug is pretty, pretty excited about something. He's saying best thing today. He already found two Mercs, so he found something better than two Mercs. Oh. <laughs> That's, is that a gold dance? Huh? Is that a gold dance? All oh, right. That's not a, not a gold dance, but ready? In the wet sand. Oh, oh nice. Some real treasure. Big ring. Rinse it in the water. See if it's got a marking. Is it silver or white gold? That's why I like coming down this area. Every nothing's down here. No, I guess there is. Huh? Oh, those are names. Silver. Silver is 925. Can I see it? The find of the day. Oh, that's a nice looking ring. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick wrap up. Mason and I are running late. Uh, Mason got this weird little fancy design washer looking thing. He got his Indian head penny. Not sure of the year yet. He got this fancy little thing that we didn't film. Boy, that's heavy, Mason. I wonder what that is. Yeah, it, it's Two wheats. Awkward. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's his uh, war nickel. His 35% silver war nickel. The 35? You mean 40? No, they're 35%. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's his war nickel. P mint mark. We got a pile of sil of silverware. Three spoons or four spoons. Mason broke that one. And a fork. Uh, I got a pile of wheat. I don't even know how many I have. There's five there. Might be some more in my pocket. Uh, buffalo nickel. 
uh, Silver Roosevelt. My beautiful Merc. It's got some nice details now that Mason cleaned it up. 36, he said. Uh, no mint. The eagle eye has. And I did end up getting this oh, yeah. copper earring. And <laughs> he broke it again. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I love it. Here's the junk pile, right? Yep. The junk. Uh, these uh, rings up. You get these. These are like gold, so yep. you got to dig it. Zippo. Huh. There's a shotgun headstamps. We got a pile, a pile of trash too. We're not gonna. This this dump spoon has a nice little collar to it. Yep. Doug got a pile of uh, regular clads. Yeah, pile of chicken nugget money. He got three wheats, two mercury dimes, a buffalo, and the find of the day. And the camera did turn off down on the beach, so I'm not sure how much it... Uh, this ring says Faith inside it. It says Braun Cobalt. And right there, it says Bio Blue 27. And then right next to it, it says 925. Nice. So, that is a beauty. Yeah. I always try towards the end of the day. Yep. Uh, Comes out nice and shiny. Loved. It. I think it's a recent has, as you said, a recent uh, drop. Yeah, Someone yeah. did the polo plunge. Yeah, we watched a few people over the past uh, couple months. When we've been down here at Metal Tech. We've seen quite a few people out there doing the uh, the old polar plunge, where they strip down to their bathing suit, run out there in the middle of winter, and jump in. That's probably that's probably what happened there. The guy's finger got real small because he got super cold, yeah. and he lost it. Yep, nice and now he's divorced and living on the streets. Yes, now I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys at the next adventure. All right, guys, thanks for watching our episode. Uh, just want to give everybody a big shout out and thank you for supporting the channel. We really appreciate it. Uh, so what was pretty neat about that episode was we were on the beach, our beach that we had been going to all winter, and we ran into a couple of guys that knew who we were. We had no idea who they were, but they knew who we were because they uh, they watched the channel, and they're in our, we have a Facebook group too where everybody shares their finds are in there too, I guess. So that was pretty neat. It was uh, Troy and Badger, and one thing that's cool, uh, we found out from Badger is uh, all those bottle dumps that we've been going to, we've been digging all these uh, milk bottles with the B on them. And they say Badger Farm Creamery, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. All these milk bottles are from uh, Badger's family farm when he was a kid. So uh, next time we see Badger, if we see him again or dig with him again, uh, we got a special treat for him. We're gonna give him one of these uh, bottles. Not sure which one yet, but we're gonna pass one of these bottles on to him so it's back with the family where it belongs. And uh, another thing we want to do is just give a uh, shout out to our channel members. We got Jason from Dirty Digs, and he's also part of the uh, 603 Diggers, but uh, he started his own channel as well, which is, uh, again, it's Dirty Dash Digs. Make sure you guys go over there and check him out. He finds a lot of amazing stuff. We've got Cynthia. Everybody knows Cynthia. She is a huge, huge supporter of the treasure hunting family. Uh, I, she's probably the longest standing uh, supporter of all those metal detecting groups, magnet fishing, mud larking, probably gold panning too. She's just a, just a, just a wonderful woman and everybody appreciates her as much as we do. Uh, we got Bob from Dispatch Detecting. Make sure you guys go check out Bob. Oh, go grab his uh, coin. We'll show you something that Bob said this. We are actually uh, his 100th, I believe, 100th uh, subscriber giveaway a, a while back. And we uh, we won his giveaway. Mason's over there grabbing it. We'll show you in a second. Oh, here he comes. All right, so let's uh, take a look at that. That thing is made out of can slaw. He was digging can slaw for like a whole year, melted it down, and made this coin for his channel. Pretty cool. That is one thick piece of aluminum. Uh, next up, we want to thank Brian from uh, Silver Assassin. He's uh, out of Massachusetts and you guys see him digging a lot on his channel with uh, Chris the Wicked Digger. But uh, make sure you guys go check out Brian, Silver Assassin as well. And last but not least, we have Colleen the Lucky Duck Digger. We did a uh, sticker swap with her about a year ago. We were doing a uh, search on YouTube for dig stock videos which wanted to check out that event and we found Colleen's channel. Uh, make sure you go check out Colleen's channel, Lucky Duck Digger as well. And just another quick announcement is uh, we also have uh, channel memberships available. We dropped it to the lowest price possible. There is absolutely no obligation for anybody to ever become a channel member. You'll still get to see our videos and our shorts, uh, but we are gonna start making some uh, members only content. And last but not least, if you look down below the video, there are some, uh, this merch. We got some Mason merch, not Mason Merck, but Mason merch available. And uh, you guys can buy t-shirts and uh, hoodies and whatever you want. Again, same thing, we tried to drop the price 
uh, as low as possible to uh, keep it cheap. So uh, again, you guys want to support the channel, that stuff's available, but you absolutely do not have to. And we just want to say thank you guys thank very you much. So we much. love all you guys and thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>